Welcome everyone to transfer your data from your old Android. This can be the Samsung, Google, any Android, and to transfer it to your Google Pixel Fold. If your Pixel Fold has not been set up, you know, you saw the welcome to your Pixel, then head over until you see the copy apps and data screen and stay on the screen. If your Pixel was already set up like mine, then let's check if we can transfer the data by opening up the settings. And in the settings, if I just lower my brightness, if you see the option to finish setting up, then we can transfer the data. If you don't see this option, you will need to go into the system and then there will be an option to reset and you will need to factory reset your pixel. So let's tap on the finish setting up. And uh, we're just going to go through the setup screen until we see the copy apps and data. Here we go. So we're going to tap on the next option. And it's saying we need to connect our pixel fold to our old Android. So on the pixel fold, the charging cable in the box should suffice. But if the charging cable is not going to work, then let me show you. In the Pixel Fold box, there is this adapter, which allows you to put the uh, old type USB-A into the adapter. And then you'd connect that to the Pixel and put the other end into your old Android. So let's do the connection. I'm going to plug into my Pixel. And now I'm going to plug into my old phone. This is the Samsung. I'm going to go like that. And so once we've done this, I'm just going to tap on the next. And it's going to say, check your other device. And on the other device, it should say copy data. And if it is not seeing this, just unlock the phone. So we'll tap on copy. And we'll enter in our biometrics. Depending on the Android phone you have, there may be a very slightly different procedure here. Now the data transfer is not going to happen immediately. It's first going to transfer your Google accounts, which it did right there. And now it's going to check what files are on this old Android and it's going to get ready to copy. So I'm just going to wait until we see the files. And now we see, choose what to copy. So we have the apps here. And you can see all the apps it's going to move. You can see the contacts, photos and videos, uh, the music and other audio, messages, attachments, Wi-Fi settings, and the Bluetooth settings, the call history. And just keep in mind, if you have a WhatsApp account, you will have to manually transfer the information. The WhatsApp app does have a feature where you can just scan the QR code, but you will have to do that one after the transfer. It will also tell you how long the transfer will take. And once you're happy, you selected what you want. You just tap on the copy button here and then wait for this one to complete. The screens can go black. Don't worry. Just leave them, let them do their thing. And uh, with that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye-bye.